um, hey guys and I think I stopped here in the previous video or, or here actually um, I just uh, had an overview of what is an what is a friendly jammer and I talked about the challenges of the friendly jammer so now we reached the idea that we're going to be using the direct sequence spread spectrum okay? فحنشوف ليش ال direct sequence spread spectrum اصلا اشي كويس when it comes to jammers and يعني انه why the orthogonal frequency division multiplex in command is also good بس انا first we will explain the direct sequence spread spectrum so first thing in uh, it's a type of uh, spread spectrum so it's a type of um, spreading technique um, we have different types and we have the chirp spread spectrum and the frequency hop spread spectrum um, for, um, okay so I'm not sure is Anna I explained this in the last video so I'm just gonna re-explain it and uh, we have an original signal. Our signal is just like 0, 1, and 0, okay? Um, sorry, 1, 0, and 1. So what we do is we um, change this. We multiply the original signal by a spreading code. And this spreading code is known to the receiver. Sorry, the tr uh, uh, transmitter and the receiver. And it happens before modulating and after demodulating. So it's just like a multiplication of the uh, signal with this spreading code and then we get back the original signal. So um, uh, so what happens is we have this, uh, this code which is known to both and then we have this uh, spread signal. Why is it called spread signal? Because we have a bandwidth. Um, so what we do is we we uh, send the signal at a larger bandwidth okay so if we if our signal actually only needs a one second to transmit we are gonna send it in two seconds and we're gonna spread the signal يعني it, it's gonna take longer to transmit but it's gonna have a larger bandwidth um, so what the good thing about this is in um, when we spread the signal uh, it's more hidden okay then I'll, I'll show you why but um, it's also um, it's not just better hidden it's also um, making it more robust against the noise and it can go longer يعني, if is the Anna, يعني مثلا إحنا عن ال Wi-Fi, ال Wi-Fi مسافته قصيرة صح؟ لكن if I spread my signal رح يكون عندي a smaller data rate لأنه we have a less signal in in the same amount of time, but the signal is able to withstand fading and go through longer longer مسافات أطول يا رب يكون كلامي واضح المهم إنه it, 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 it's more long range uh, بس smaller data rate okay. so why do we spread so of course this is the uh, power spectral density and we can see that if we send the, the signal in like a very small bandwidth the we can easily identify the signal then it's above the noise floor so we know there is a signal here but spread it signal is hidden un underneath the noise floor and it has a longer bandwidth so it takes like twice as much time to transmit um okay so it's more robust against the noise uh Uh, is scrambling so bits are pre-processed to have a balanced number of zeros and ones 
طبعا لانه sending like normal signals are not really random يعني يعني a normal signal is not random اكيد يعني it's not random بس uh, uh, noise random noise is is random and because احنا our aim is to hide او يعني the probability of the bit being a one or the probability that it is a zero should be equal يعني we want maximum entropy and this is better for the security purposes um, and and for other purposes يعني also when we have lots of uh, edges edges are when we change from zero to one and one to zero we have more track of the clock because احنا we have a clock صح a clock that لانه احنا مصح we have a duty cycle يعني this is like a duty cycle okay bit bit duty cycle the clock it, it's it's aligned aligned مع ال, مع ال edge the duty cycle for sometimes we have lots of one 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 okay for the edges we kind of lose track of the edges and the clock becomes desynchronized يعني it becomes like this يعني this is the clock and then and then it becomes like this and then it starts moving and then we start to lose track of the actual clock okay ف... but this is this is not the actual aim um, actually um, the, the the scrambling is just to make it more noisy okay يعني make the amplitude maybe oh it's a carrot hella ish doctor haka because also um, not not also to make it um, not also to make it uh, equal number of zeros and ones but why why do we want to equal the number of zeros and ones because actually we want to um, the average uh, power should be uh, equal almost equal um, in a normal signal احنا, يعني, if we see a normal signal it's gonna have low power and then high power and then low power we don't like that لانه احنا, we want to utilize our resources in the best way possible ف we want the power to always be uh, consistent okay consistent in power okay hi it's all about being consistent with with the power uh, that's that's actually the actual reason um spreading so why do we spread so the every bit is expanded to 11 chips with the redundant information هنا عندنا um, one bit this is just one bit صح? this one bit becomes one two three four five eleven chips okay so we spread one bit into eleven so uh, uh, why do we do this well actually redundant information is actually good uh, in terms of um, in terms of uh, detecting errors okay uh, and I think they're called parity bits and uh, usually we add parity bits to actually correct the errors um, uh, to correct the errors inside the signal okay so redundant information is actually good in terms of um, uh, lower lower uh, lower error 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 uh, but it's bad because يعني, if if I have a um, one megahertz I can only send a small amount of data even though I have a large bandwidth so this is يعني, a limitation يعني. it's like sending a lot less information for a large bandwidth يعني. you're not utilizing all the bandwidth to send the information. So, ulna awal ishi ashan al power average. Tani ishi, it could be to um, reduce errors. Errors. Lano, arfin ki fi il CRC f akhir signal. Tabat al error check. Nsit shu islam cyclic. Cyclic error. Check whatever. Um, and know what it does. You know, you know, it's like it. It's like the add up of the signal. Uh, 
So if we have redundant uh, bits and we know some of this redundancy, then we have more information about where the error could have been happened in high. Okay, so we have less error, and actually we have a very if if. Okay, let's خلنا ننتقل للmodulation. Each chip is modulated with differential binary phase shift keying. هلا أنا I we all know what phase shift keying is. Um, okay, is is like uh, each phase represents a bit. So if we have the number twenty four, we have a uh, a specific phase for that number, and we can have as many bits as we want, and we can have four bits. If we have four bits, two to the power of eight, we need sixteen different phases. Wait, uh, if we have two bits, we need four four different um, phases. The, okay, but here uh, we have differential phase shift key. Differential phase shift King, it comes from the difference. Yani it's like comparing the previous bit. Is 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 this bit equal to the previous bit? If so, if it is equal, then we uh, um, then we send a zero. If it is uh, if there is a change, yani if the bit goes from zero to one, like is هون عنا zero zero. بعدين عنا zero one. Okay, sorry guys. So if we have uh, uh, the first and the, the previous bit, it depends on the, the current and the previous bit. So if we have uh, zero is the previous and zero is the now bit, it gives us a zero. It gives us a zero. If we have the previous bit is zero and the next bit is one, uh, then we have a uh, uh, one. So for we have a zero, and it's not actually one. It's it's uh, it. Uh, they modulated as as a as a change in phase. Uh, so we have a phase shift by pi which changes the phase by pi for a 1 and leaves the phase unchanged for a 0. So we have a 1, so we have phase change. Phase change, okay? Here no phase change, here nada, okay? Then we have 1 is the previous bit, then we have 0. So here you guessed it, it's the same thing, 1 and phase shift, blah blah blah. Then we have um, zero is the previous bit and zero is the f uh, high, so you get the idea, okay? Um, for Hona, it's also re representing the 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 phase, you know, it's changing. So I know that uh, here I know that the previous and the current bit are the same. Here I know that this next bit is different than the previous bit. Hona, I know it's again it's different. Hona, I know it's the same, it's the same, it's different. Heck. Fa, what This is differential phase shift keying. And what binary means is just that we have two. Binary means two. Is that we have two cases. Because sometimes in, in modulation you can have many cases. Yani you can have four bits, you can have five bits, you can yani represent as many as you want. Okay. But what is our limit? According to the doctor, it was our resolution. In uh, if we have, يعني, لأن we have this constellation curve, and we have here a phase, here a f uh, wait, like I the x axis, we had the imaginary axis. So here, so if we have only four bits, uh, sorry, four different cases, يعني two bits, إحنا راح يكون عنا هون phase, هون phase. هون فيز هون فيز to represent each case صح طيب if we have more than one قصدي sorry we have more than two bits we have أكتر فرح يكون عنا مثلا sixteen طيب بدنا نوزع ال sixteen phases على هذا السيركل فأكيد لما نوزع ال sixteen حيكون عنا كتير يعني مثلا high to represent one case high to represent another case and high phases صح 
فحيكونوا كتير قريبين على بعض فالايرور الايرور حيكون كتير عالي بما بخلاف انه لو عندنا بس اربعه كيسز حيكون عندنا وحده هون وحده هون وحده هون وحده هون يعني بعاد عن بعض فالايرور حيكون اقل لانه انتم بتعرفوا ان ريل لايف communication is not very accurate طيب فهذا هو الباينري فيز شيفت كي is that we only have two it's either zero or pi يعني يعني عنا هيك either zero or pi فبعاد عن بعض يعني we have this region كل ياتها بنعتبرها هاي و this region كل ياتها بنعتبرها السكند فعنا lots of space of error طيب هلا خلصنا من هاي وهون بنقدر نشوف كيف انه لما يكون عنا scrambling هاي scrambling هاي هاي ال original هاي ال scrambling of data لما يكون عنا scramble بيكون عنا ويت ايش الفرق بين هاي وهاي خلني اتذكر اه اوكي هاي الفيز تشينج هاي الامبليتيود وهاي هاي اوكي اوكي جايز سو هادي اتس لايك ذا ذا وين احنا وين دو وي ستارت تو كابتشر the signal we capture it exactly at this point okay لانه احنا كل هاي المسافه تعتبر واحد صح one bit هاي المسافه كلها من من صفر لاربعه تعتبر one bit بس انتوا عارفين بالكهرباء الاشياء بطيئه يعني احنا it doesn't go like that this is not the reality صح it goes like هيك it goes like هيك بعدين هيك يعني يعني it's more like a zigzag يعني ما في ما في ما في اشي بالواقع component بيعطينا هيك one لا what it does هيك بصير يطلع ال amplitude ال current بصير يطلع بعدين نوصل لل peak بعدين منروح نوقف هيك 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 بيكون بالواقع صح فمتى يعني انتوا احكوا لي متى احسن منطقة نقرأ فيها البت هاي it represent one صح هاي also it represent one this is the reality متى يعني هل انا اقرأ البت من هون ولا اقرأها من هون اكيد لو قرأتها من النص رح اقرأها as a one لانه لانه هون رح تكون one نفس الشي هون بس لو اجيت قرأتها من هون رح يبين عندي انها صفر لانه لسه ما وصلت للامبليتيود تبع 1 يعني this is the ideal المفروض انها كلياتها تكون 1 هيك بس بالواقع it's not the case فاحنا بناخد دائما we, we read the signal in the middle فهونا إيه هون طبعا هاي الكلوك تكس المقصود بالكلوك هو يعني الكلوك يعني يعني شايفين كيف هيك هذا هو الواقع الواقع مش هيك 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 لا مش هيك الواقع انه هيك هيك بيكون هيك صفر بعدين بيزيد هيك شوي بيزيد بعدين بوصل للقمة هون we, we start to read هون بنقرأ السيجنال وبنقرأها هون بتيجي عنا اوكي يعني هاي هي السيجنال اللي قرأناها طيب فاحنا قرأناها انه هون بالنص الامبليتيود بيكون اعلى اشي بالنص زي ما وي ديسكاست او اوطى شي اوكي خلنا اشوف انا Okay, guys. So, I'm 
انا راح احاول احكي اللي انا بتذكره من الدكتور انه انه احنا بنقرا دائما بالنص لانه بال بالجوانب الانفورميشن ما بتكون اكيوريت والافضل ناخذ السيجنال في النص ف لما ناخذها بالنص بنقدر نفهم اذا البت تبعتنا 1 او 0 يعني هنا عندنا 1 1 اوكي مش انا مش عارفه هاو ذس ترانسليتس تو ذس بس keep this in mind لأنه هاي حت يعني هاي المعلومات مهمة للجامعة لأنه هون رح ندرس عن ال chip alignment بس أنا I want to like end this video to make the videos short and I will just go to part three of the video okay فاحنا احنا هلا فهمنا ال phase shift keying وال differential phase shift keying وبعض الكونسبتس تبعت السبريدنج انه ليش السبريدنج اصلا اشي بنحبه هلا انا اي ديسكاست انه سلو انه وين وي سبريد ذا سيجنال الداتا ريت بيقل بس الرينج بيزيد اتس اكشلي هون مكتوب نفس الشيء انه سلوست داتا ريت مثلا 1 ميجا بيتس بير سكند ار نون تو بي ذا موست ريزيلينت to interference يعني اقوى اقوى بكتير فممكن توصل لرينج اس اكتر وتتغاضى عن كتير من الانترفيرنس بسبب الجامرز وبس اوكي okay.